Hey Taurus, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Um, Uranus is, um, I think it's retrograde, let me check, uh, in Taurus at the moment. Yeah, retrograde. Retrograde means it's um, more into your awareness, closest to planet Earth, so it's more heightened. Um, uh, Uranus is about uh, unpredictability, changes, maybe a bit of rebelling out and reformatting. More about changes, so there's might maybe some kind of change or something's happened. Let's see what's going on with your reading to see um, you might want to do some sort of, um, or something, you know, is um, come out into your awareness or something like that, unpredictable, which is like, where did that come from? Or something that, you know you expected but didn't expect that something like that that's what um i'm i'm picking up and i'm feeling but let's see what's happened what's what's going on with you couple more <coughs> oh. okay <laughs> more than a couple it's not down to me <laughs> all right uh, I think it's like that all right let's see what's going on so the first card is interesting it's the ten of Pentacles <coughs> And um, before I start, I just it just popped into my head. Erica Eastbox, um, if you're new, is doing tarot again. And I noticed she's um, released Taurus, and this is Taurus read, and I'm a Taurus, and I think she's a Taurus as well. So go watch that. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, so I mean, uh, I can't. I'm gonna watch it after this. <laughs> anyway, back on track. Yeah, Erica Eastbox in my uh, subscription list and um, does email support. Um, uh, peer support for emails anyway ten of pentacles which is interesting because ten of pentacles is a soulmate this is someone there's something to do uh, I'm going to read more because you could be pining for this I say it's a soulmate card because the ten of pentacles look the house the car the mortgage the kids the picket fence and all that kind of stuff um that's soulmates we're twin flames we're supposed to want the ten of cups emotionally fulfill ourselves inside first and it knowing the laws of the uh planet laws of attraction it pulls into into your reality what your wants and desires are this is with eyeballs ten of cups is with insight inner knowing hence the high priestess so there's something to do with the house the card the da -da -da. it's like wanting it I'm getting pulled back. Okay, whoever this resonates with, you know, continue if it doesn't, because sometimes in some readings, more down the line, it resonates a bit more. This could be you wanting it, but I'm feeling more there's something to do with your person is in this soulmate dynamic, which is pissing you off with three <laughs> swords underneath. There's something like that. But, I'm feeling it's not so. This is your perception, they're telling me. So you think your person, this is why the heartbreak, and I don't normally get pulled to the underneath. I normally do the first row, then the second row. The heartbreak is your perception with your eyeballs that your person is happy in the third, part, third party situation, which if the third party in this situation is if, with the, if they're with someone, married, babies, mum, whoever they're with your perception there's something with your perception of this card but your twin flame most 
twin flames know who their twin flame is, it's only 5% less than that, they're saying, 3 point whatever's a point. It, no, see, your person, if they're over there in their soulmate role, it's a, a facade, it's a show. That's what it's picking up. It, the midst of focus is like, look, it's... That's why I love doing cards. <laughs> it's like turn your back on what you think it is and just balance it out and be yourself. The false journey, one foot on the earthly plane, going into consciousness that will move this forward with the feather on the feet, that will push this um, union forward by, because that represents, this is in the, look, there's three cards in this deck which have the, the, the balance of the uh, of the earthly plane and the uh, consciousness, the other realms. See, one foot in the water, which is the other uh, ele alchemical elements, and one a foot on the earth. Meaning, you live on this planet, but you go within to get your air, water, fire, swords, cups, and wands. That you once you get all of those alchemical elements, then you manifest your wants and desires into reality. So the next card is Sagittarius. This card represents the same, meaning you are star card, star star seed. Can you see? Is one foot on the grass? You are the earthly plane, and one foot on the water as well, pouring out the emotions in the water on 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 the earth as well. And the other one that represents that is the fall. Now, I'm doing the dots. You are starseed. <laughs> you are here, starseed light worker. You are here to balance out your emotions, turn your back on this ten of pentacles, you wanting it and you're believing your person is, and start the fool's journey. The fool's journey isn't here, but with these two cards represent the same, because the fool, one foot on the earthly plane, jumping into the air, which represents the water. The water is the same. Um, represents all the higher alchemical elements so there's a restart so what i'm picking up is that in street code don't watch what your person is doing over there because your perception is most of the 99 oh well um 99.9 percent .9 is co incorrect of whatever your person's doing even if they told you let's just say porky pies they won't tell you what's going on this is a perception i was picking up from the beginning it was more because normally i'm like what you do what do you ask you want the house the car and the picket fence now i'm picking up someone's perception is their person is over there oh he don't care about me he's over there she that she's not bothered about me no you know your twin flame like i said and generally those who know their twin flame know their person's a twin flame then this is a show. You're the one. That is their role to be, well, most of them ain't even in the Ten of Pentacles. It's a show. It's a show to the world. Inside, no, look. That looks like third eye. Look at that. It's like third eye in the basket. What's that just doing randomly in this card here? In, in, inside, inner vision, it ain't like that. All happy families, no. For you to have the inner vision and go back and balance out your emotions and know you the false journey. This is healing. Caduceus. Oh. Oh. This is um, the Caduceus. This is um, um, as above so below with the feathers on the feet, foot and the feathers on his hat. This you is like, it kind of looks like Brad Pitt to me. I don't know if it's me. It looks like Brad Pitt. Anyway, so yeah, so what you've got to do is balance out this, your emotions in your state, and emotions is energy, emotions, energy, emotions is like I said, the all the alchemical elements, the air, the swords, air, um, the swords is air, which is air, let's say fresh air, sky, upstairs I call it, the cups is water, water, emotions, the cups are emotions, energy, emotions, the ones is fire. Fire is air again. That's why they uh, the fool jumps into the unknown, which is all the air. They all represent air, really. All the other alchemical elements. But how to represent that is the fool card with one foot in the air, and these cards represent it with the water. 
but water is emotions, energy emotions representing air. So it's all the kind of same thing. But how do you balance this out so you don't get pissed off thinking? This is a perception, I repeat, they're telling me it's a perception that your person is all happy days. You do that by going within. Tree of life, tree of life, tree of life. <laughs> This is the understanding. So this represents the fool's journey. Um, start again. Go within. Go, And this is proper hardcore. This is schizo wards. They tie them up like that. That's how hardcore you've got to go into inner child. Hardcore. More people are doing it. I must admit, I'm getting not as many as what, how many bookings I get, but I'm getting more people emails saying, yes, I started crying. Unless I hear that you're crying, you ain't touched that in the child. Trust me. Unless it's not horrific and scary and you don't want to go there and there's darkness and there's walls, there's blocks. You've just listened to my audio. That's it. <laughs> you haven't done the work. Because that is locking yourself in and just getting on with it and doing it. Look, schizo ward in a kind of thing tied there. In I'm getting into the roots of this situation. This is the hanged man, which represents thought, thinking correct, enlightenment thinking. Because the, uh, the illumination light is around his head. So this is you stop thinking about that and think about this. I don't know what to say. Stop thinking about that situation and focus on the dark towards the light. Healing with this caduceus here. This represents the caduceus and the kundalini. The kundalini is about the root. What is the root? And this is the root of the tree. But it also means the sacral chakra, the root, which is the um, connected with the twin flames because the root is a sexual um the sexual desires now i'm not feeling more so that you're sexually desiring your person this is more to do with some uh, maybe some kind of sexual abuse because that is quite a common in um twin flames and with this representing the root and the caduceus and the sacral that's what this is about get to the root to your abuse <laughs> i don't know how else to say it it's what i'm picking up here because most people just let that slide. Oh, I forgive. This isn't about forgiveness. Forgiveness doesn't resolve it. There's more to it than that. It's more rooted than that. This is like locking in it. This is all connections. It's like, can you see all this here? Whatever it is, if it's not abuse. But there's some kind of abuse here. The root, is, root chakra is non-trust. So there's like an element of, say, for example, there was some sort of abuse, which is common with twin flames, right? Both sides. Say you're the person that's watching has had some abuse here, because I'm picking that up strongly with this. Whatever it may be, you slip, let it go because, oh, it was my dad who was beating me. Oh, so it's your dad. It's OK. No, it isn't. Oh, it was uh, my dad's friend. So what you've done is you've worked on yourself, working on self, and you did give the guy, but what about your dad? Because your dad knew that the friend was a, a abuser and your dad allowed you to go round his house. This is connecting all the pies of the abuse. Can you see all the symbolisms there? It's just like the tarot, all that represents. I think that's actually um, Kabbalistic um, Hebrew... Hebrew letters, maybe, I'm not too sure, it looks a little bit like it, don't, don't quote me on that, my point, when I talk about the tree of life, the tree of life is connected to the tarot, tarot is connected to the fool's journey, the fool's journey is connected to the Kabbalah, all of the dots, the fool's journey is connected to the to the um, high priestess, the high priestess is connected to the hierophant, they're all dots are connected, this is going into the roots and saying, OK, I've forgiven the abuser, but what about the person who took me round there who knew that? And what about that person who didn't believe that it, what I was abused? And what about that person who ignored that I said that, you know, it was all that. It's all of it, this deep rooted thing. People And then it's to do with, oh, well, it was just um, I've just that happened when I was seven. But what happened, when, and it stopped in a week, just say. But that seven-year-old, it affected when you was eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What are you, 30, 40, 50? 
it's just you go back to that inner child and you go back and you make that child happy. You've got to fix all timeline because whenever whatever happened to you, this is important here, pulling me to it in this situation with this tree is like um, connected to all other timelines. That's why you're not confident. That's why men will call over you or women will call over you. That's why you um uh, are not attracted going for the job of your dreams that's why you 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 back down all that is connected from that dot so you have to go back to all those timelines which you knew you could do something or someone walked all over you and forgive yourself not the fucking person fuck them yourself because you didn't know this is deep rooted that's why i'm doing a massive program it's not just about going back to the one timeline it's important that most people understand this inner child program is hardcore. Then you become the star, you see, and balance it out. Look, even he's crying. If you're not crying with your inner child, then you're not doing jack shit. Let's move on. So there's heartbreak here. The heartbreak is because you're not understanding that card. This, it, this isn't the hermit. The hermit goes within, but I'm like, the the reason why i'm pulled to it because of like i said it's the hanged man the hanged man is like think thinking correctly you surely don't think you just go oh well it's my dad it beat me a couple of times so it's okay that you that hasn't affected you think about this rooted belief systems and root of this situation this is why your person is still over there and your perception is it's not moving forward. It's still over there. It's not, and it's creating heartbreak. That's 100% what's going on here in this reading. Whoever this resonates with, that's what I'm picking up with this reading. You balance your, your emotions. Understand the law. Heal this. Like I said, with the caduceus here. Heal this. Do If you've got my program, do the kundalini exercise. Again, I don't give a shit if you're saying I've done it, do it again, because you are this. This is what the Twin Flames about. Now, I've done a video about religion the other day, and to be honest, I was quite soft <laughs> because I offended um, Raquel. But the Twin Flames are not here to have anything to do with anything. That's why they pick me, because most of the people connected to my channel, not my channel, I've definitely taken that back. Most of the people that have their independent, there are no one's no one. I don't own David. I don't own no channel, no one. Because people are, oh, oh uh, what's going on with my Taurus and what's going on with, you know, um, my people. We're not connected like that. What I want you to do is to understand that there is, I feel they, they have, see, they tell me, chose me because I don't have a connection to anything. A twin flame is here just to get to manifest, show people how to manifest, to be sovereign beings. If you're then release everything that's happened to you, which is um, which distraught or anything negative, thank you, correct words, negative as a child, then you choose to then go into religion, so be it. But most people go into religion, traditions, and have their own mindsets and choices and beliefs from their upbringing. I stated on a video about if it helps you to get into union, yes, but they chose me because no one helped me. I helped myself. And this is what we're here for. It doesn't matter about religion, tradition, colour, lesbian, gay, doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Because everyone's saying to me about healing, I'm like, you, you, I, that's different. But religion, no, it doesn't matter. What it, it, we're here to do is show people how to manifest correctly. With your one 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 which was i was talking about the magician getting all these one one what twin flame 11 11 with the four of wands to get that foundation that stability with your person by manifesting by getting re into the roots only till you start releasing that and understanding the journey then this should never show up this won't show up the journey won't be totally smooth, but if it's at this stage, you're not still getting rid of the root of the situation. You're not getting deep enough, if at all, because I don't feel there's enough deep healing here. They're not understand, And that's why I'm doing, a, like I said, a big program for those who follow me, because I'm understanding that people are not getting 
how hardcore this is. One, 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 one is what you are. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. That's what all the ones are. That is a magician card. You are here to show everyone to manifest their wants and desires and be sovereign beings without the, the chains of working in a job, without the perception of having to be like that. This is freedom. Look at that. Tied with someone who can walk away. Do they look like they want to walk away from each other? No. That is commitment. I don't need a piece of paper to feel that I'm more committed to David than anybody else. I don't need that piece of paper. Oh, wow. This is a lot of, um, it's a release they're telling me. Because look, this person looks like he's crying as well. There's tears there. There's a three of swords, which is normally tears. This person's crying and this person's crying. So there's a lot of emotions. It's like, like I said, balance. So there's two balancing out your emotions. It's like you're like, um, what is that to do with? They're telling me about that. Uranus. Reformation. Unpredictic. Oh, I can't say that. Rebelling. It's like you're like, <laughs> there's tears, but the wrong tears. It's not tears of your person, it should be tears, and it shouldn't be, but tears because you're going and releasing the inner child. Tears of like, oh my God, that, it's like a demon. I don't know how to say it, and this is all about inner child, and I don't care if it's always about inner child. It's like you're carrying a demon devil child within you. When you tap into it, it's like, fuck's sake, I've got that shit inside of me. No wonder why I attracted shit. No wonder why my life has been shit. Taming that child and making it happy, obviously you attract more happiness. If you don't get to the stage where you see this child and it's horrific, it's like neglect, abuse and everything combined, that's how traumatic it is with our... Um, energetic frequencies of high heightenedness to lower frequency as above so below that's why there's tears you're not understanding that and the first and the last card is like you're being a soulmate this is the empress you're not doing it deep enough it's like look she's protecting her heart this one but going i'm a star seed i'm a star seed I understand about the star signs with all the alchemical elements. That's what that represents to me. It's not in the card, but to me. And it's like you're protecting your heart. You're, you've, got, you've, got to, you've got to feel it. This is what this reading is to me. You need to be feeling that if you don't go in and feel that pain, this won't move. Soulmates go, like I said, and only go and visit. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know what she's on about. I was beaten as a child. I was beaten as a child before anyone say, oh, you're saying it so flippantly. I was beaten hardcore as a child. So, uh, oh, uh, and it's like me going, okay, yeah, I, oh, yes, I understand that, yes, my mum did beat me as a child. I understand, I understand. And then moving on, thinking that's enough. That ain't enough. That's what's going on here. That's soulmate. That's why this isn't moving forward. That's why your person you're still perceiving is happy over there. So let me get some um, other information. This is like all over the place. So you could be all over the place. That's what I'm kind of picking up. One, that's the Pisces. Pisces moon. Look, your emotions. Once again, your person is shielded 100%. This is someone who could even be saying, I'm not even sure if that's my person. This is this reading. Look at this person here, totally shielded, right? Can't even see his face. How's the guy breathing, right? Cross, stuck. The wheel's not even moving. But look, you know it's your twin flame because these are twins, the Sphinx. Balance out your emotions. This is this is Pisces. Pisces is the moon. The moon is the emotions. The moon is crowned on top of the high priestess. You are the high priestess. The high priestess does what? The high priestess goes within. Go within and release more of that inner child. I 100% guarantee not only that one, 
that's why I'm the fastest person in union on YouTube. I'll just repeat that on YouTube because that's what I done. And secondly, that's why this is slow. You're not understanding there's more to release. And do it on a constant. I'm going to do my inner child tomorrow. I still do it. And I'm quite happy with David. Do I stop because of the... He's, literally, he's just left. Do I stop doing it because of I'm happy with him? He's just left. He's been there a couple of days. No. I still do it. You lot don't understand that. I've done it a couple of days. It was horrific. No. Big time. This, this chariot is stuck. It's still. It's not moving. You need to push this forward. It, look, it goes this way. Look. One facing one way, one facing the other way, or you both go forward together. Choice is yours. Not your person, yours. Let me finish this with a kipper. Let's see what's going on. Uh, they're telling me to check out Pisces. What? What, what's uh, Pisces is what house is that 12th house 12th house is about spirituality behind the scenes you're bothered about behind the scenes and thinking you're spiritual enough. Mm. Could be a bit religious here as well. Not releasing that religious aspect a little bit. I'm picking up still as well. Mm. Okay, let's finish with this one. I don't know if you can hear my fan in the background. I've got a new fan, but it is what it is, eh? Last one. Yep. Yep. Lost two. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look. This is you. You're imprisoning yourself. This isn't your person. This is you guys. The Hierophant is the key. The key is in the Hermit card. Deep inner stuff. So the key to this is your person and going within. Because the Hierophant holds the key. You're the high priestess, high high consciousness, higher mind. I already said the water, the swords, all higher consciousness, right? You are the high priestess. Your counterpart is the Hierophant, higher mind, higher consciousness. The higher Hierophant, or most, some cards, he holds the key. To unlock your imprisonment, you have to understand your counterpart is a hierophant. You are from higher consciousness, right? And then do, go within, which is connected with the herb and, and, and stop being enslaved. This entire twin flame is about being sovereign being. So you are still, like I said, ten of pentacles and the empress to come out being a soulmate here. If you're new, this is what you, is the suggestion if you want to follow on the twin flame journey. But I'm feeling this maybe for some who's followed me or got my program that's going on and not understanding how deep this inner child work needs to go. Not understanding it. But that's cool because I'm doing my program. Last card, look, you need to change that. Look, it's, it's, it's a card. Like I said, this, change that, then this will move the chariot. This isn't moving. So you want your this to move, right? Drop the luggage. Your baggage, right? And then this will move forward. So if you're new, please check out both my playlists. I have far more information for the Twin Flame journey. Um, if um, if you've bought my program, or um, then just more inner child. Get a pen and paper and study this shit. It's up to you how much you want to do it. You Literally, I don't have to be pushing it because most of you have already bought the program. I could just say get on with it. My job is to get you into union, hence why I do this, and this is why I keep saying it. Get a pen and paper and write down and start calming that inner child until, well, I am not even going to say until, because like I said, David literally left it an hour ago. I'm doing this reading for free 
for you guys and I don't need to. I'm in union with my person. I'm telling you what I do to, to be in union. And when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my inner child. So I do it until I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know. I'm going to do it. It makes me feel better, so I might be doing it all the time. Who knows? So you need to be doing it. Because if not, you're going to always be having this perception of that of your person over there. And they will stay in that contract as they are supposed to be. That changes change when you do. So hopefully this has been good for someone. And thanks for listening.